This resolution is offered by Representatives Rivier and Kaufman. Representative Rivier. Mr. Speaker, I move for adoption of the resolution. Representative Kaufman. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. It has been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Is there any discussion? Representative Rivier. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support. Please proceed in support. Thank you. This resolution honors uh, some, some wonderful leaders, future leaders, and, and, and people in, in our communities. And uh, first off, I, if I may, I'd like to talk about uh, Jaylee Fusilier, Fusilier, as we say in French, or Fusilier, as we say here. Um, Jaylee is the current Miss Hawaii, and she was the second runner-up in the Miss America pageant this year. She uh, was raised in Haleiwa and has a bachelor's degree in international relations. She's working on her master's degree at Hawaii Pacific University and has said her inspiration comes from her older sister, Janae, who has cerebral palsy but always finds positive and inspiring ways to reach out to the people around her. Jaylee says, the real world has needs and real problems. We cannot change everything, but we can do our part to serve those in our communities. In 2005, Jay Lee started a reading and mentoring program for at-risk youth and has since founded Ready for the Real World, a corporation that offers scholarships to students wanting to further their education, grants for students to do volunteer work abroad, and a scholarship program to re reward volunteering. In 2009, Jay Lee was honored with the Presidential Volunteer Service Award for her extensive community involvement. Volunteer Hawaii recognized Jay Lee in 2010 as the youngest person to ever receive the Volunteer of the Year Award. I'd also like to acknowledge in, in the gallery is um, her parents, Janet and James, and may they please rise. Are they, are they, are they here now? Please, please stand up. And, and, and uh, Ryan Brown. Well done, you've done well. And, and also Ryan Brown, the director of Miss Hawaii Pageant. Is he here? So, okay. So that is um, uh, Jay Lee, and, and if I may continue, uh, Speaker. Please proceed. Also honoring today, we are honoring, uh, there are four recipients, I'll speak about two of them, for the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards. Uh, this awards program put on by Prudential is the United States' largest youth recognition program based on volunteer community service. The Prudential Spirit of Community Awards program strives to both acknowledge young people who are making a positive difference and to inspire others to think about how they might contribute to the well-being of their communities. This year, uh, as I mentioned, we're recognizing four students, and I would like to begin with Carly Button, who is a resident of um, Waialua. Um, I know the family. They are a tremendous family, but today we're going to acknowledge Carly. Thank you. Um, Carly is um, being recognized as this honor. She's an eighth grader at the Hawaii Technology Academy. She founded, a, um, she founded a corporation, a nonprofit organization called Dream of a Better World. And she raised, well, when this program began, she raised over $35,000 to help disadvantaged children around the world. I just heard this morning that she's already over $60,000. And uh, some of the things that they have been raising, um, they have, uh, let me get back. We were motivated because, and here's how Carly explains her motivation. We were motivated because of how hard it is how, and how hard it was for us to get through cancer with my mom. So we wanted to help other people who were going through a tough time. So she took a personal um, challenge in, in the family and she made something great of it. And with the help of her siblings, Carly created and sold custom made cookbooks to raise money to fight breast cancer. The money was used to provide a scholarship to a girl who lost a parent to cancer, to buy backpacks full of school supplies for homeless children in Hawaii, give horseback lessons to children of deployed military personnel, and since then, Carly has raised funds to buy a van for a Ugandan orphanage that cares for children with HIV AIDS and for a solar water heating system for the orphanage, an orphanage in Mexico City. So here's a young lady who's going around the world making a difference. As I mentioned, she's already raised $60,000. They had a goal of 100000 but I think they're going to have to crank that up because um, she's doing too well. So um, here's a statement. You're never too young or too old to dream of a better world. And uh, thank you, Carly. I also want to acknowledge her family who are here in the audience. So please rise and uh, we'll uh, applaud to, for everyone. Mark Button is uh, here on the floor. Diane, if you could rise, that's uh, her mother. Jack and Hannah Buttons, the uh, brother and sister. Rosemary Stice, the grandmother is here. 
and uh, Linda Polasek, uh, her, her auntie. So all of you, please rise, and uh, if we could all acknowledge the, the family members, thank you. Well done. Okay. Next up, we have uh, Raquel Marie Cole. Please, uh, please rise. Um, Raquel is the uh, senior at Sacred Hearts uh, Academy, and she helped launch the YWCA Youth Network, a youth-run initiative that organizes projects and events for young people and helped raise $5,000. She plans events, connects with community supporters, manages budgets, and raises community awareness about the programs. She helped organize the Youth Network College Fair, which at aided at-risk youth with the college application process. 55% of arriving students said they were not going to college, but after the fair that she organized, 90% said, said that they had received the tools and information they needed to make college a reality. Raquel was inspired to create Youth Network when she mentored a fifth grade girl who admitted to not having any hopes or dreams. No one believes in me, she told Raquel. At that moment, Raquel realized she wanted to start an organization where children will always find someone to believe in them. So another outstanding example, and if her family, are they in the audience here too? Please rise and, and be acknowledged. Well done, well done. Okay. Thank you. Chair, I uh, yield to the representative from Kona. Uh, 